Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sheen, your host. This is Money Matters. Today we're going to talk about Tesla's battery. Uh, well, you know they pushed back their battery day to June or maybe even July. Nobody knows the exact date anymore. It was supposed to happen in May, uh, but you know they're reopening their factory and that's going to take precedent over you know their battery day announcement. Uh, so you know I had a prediction in my previous video uh, that when battery day happens in May, uh, I predict Tesla stock was going to go into the thousand dollar point. Uh, well, obviously that's not going to happen because battery day has been pushed back. Uh, but that prediction still stands whenever battery day is, whenever that day comes uh, in June and July, whatever it is, uh, as long as the stock market doesn't crash, you know, as long as uh, the stock market stays relatively stable, I do predict Tesla stock uh, will be into the thousands. Uh, so I still stick with that prediction. It's just going to be pushed back to whenever battery day announcement uh, is. But uh, I have been, you know, gathering a lot of information from uh, various uh, sources, and I'm just gonna kind of spit it back out at you guys uh, what the big announcement is for Battery Day. Uh, so obviously they're gonna talk about their million mile battery, but uh, there's uh, probably a little bit more information that's gonna come out, uh, and so we're gonna talk about that today. Stay tuned. If you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel helps me spread my videos to other people. Uh, after, after we get to the end of this, this video, if you like what I'm doing, please do give a thumbs up if I earned it. Also consider subscribing if you haven't yet already. Check out my other videos. I do a lot of videos about money, finance, how to grow your money, how to invest your money, how to make money work hard for you. With that said, let's get into it. All right, so back in early May, there was a few articles that came out uh, about Tesla applying for a license to provide energy, to provide electricity um, in the UK. Uh, so here it is, it's from the Telegraph, uh, Tesla applies for UK electricity provider license. Uh, here's another article in the beginning of May, Tesla as an electric utility, maybe an auto bidder could lead the way. The electric car maker has reportedly applied to supply electricity to the UK as details on its auto bidder software come to light. Uh, so it's no longer a big secret, Tesla is uh, trying to provide via energy provider, via electricity provider, uh, at least in the UK. So Tesla also is already a electricity provider in Australia. Uh, so back in 2016, there was a series of storms uh, that took out a lot of uh, Southern Australia's power grid. And because of that, there was a lot of people uh, experiencing blackouts, uh, not able to get electricity and causing the electricity prices to skyrocket. So Tesla was hired to produce a battery system to help stabilize the grid. Uh, I think they did it in less than 100 days, uh, put up this battery system, uh, and now it is still in use. They are still using this battery system to help stabilize the grid and bring the cost of electricity down. So Tesla already has a lot of experience uh, being basically a power provider, electricity provider. Uh, and they have this software that was kind of always in the background, not a lot of people talked about it, uh, and it's software that is being used currently on Australia, and it's called AutoBidder. And so this software has come to light in the past few weeks, past few months, about what exactly AutoBidder is and what it does. Uh, and so a lot of these pieces are starting to come together. So it's no big news, it's no big secret. A lot of people have reported upon this. A lot of people have talked about it. Tesla is going to produce a million mile battery. Uh, they have new technology that they acquired uh, from High Bar Systems and Maxwell Technology. Uh, they're going to take battery production uh, in-house. They're gonna take it over. They're gonna produce their own batteries. Uh, so that's kind of the rumor. Uh, it's pretty much out there. It's pretty much said and done. There's just nothing has been confirmed, uh, but I think pretty much everyone has come to a conclusion that Tesla is going to make their own batteries moving into the future. Why would you need a million mile battery? Uh, so currently Tesla's batteries last roughly 300 to 500,000 miles. And that is actually plenty. I mean, you know, most people don't drive their cars up to 100,000 miles and at the most probably 200, maybe 300,000 miles. Uh, but you know, very rarely do people get up to that 300,000 mile, 500,000 mile. Uh, before that, usually your car is broken down or it's not even worth repairing. Uh, so most people don't drive up to two, 300,000 miles. So why, if you have a battery that can last three to 500 miles currently, why would you need a 500, sorry, why would you need a million mile battery? So the answer is two reasons, two reasons why you would need a million mile battery. First reason is autopilot and robo taxis. Uh, this is already widely reported that one of Tesla's goal is to have autopilot that can drive itself and therefore robo taxis uh, that can pick up people and drop them off. It's actually being an Uber, uh, but instead of having a driver, the car will drive itself, pick up people, drop them off. Uh, and the person that owns the car or if Tesla is owning the car and using the robo taxi, they will be collecting the revenue. If you wanted to use your Tesla uh, to do the same thing, you would be making money uh, off of your vehicle by it driving and picking up people and dropping it off. 
Uh, so if you do that, think about it. If an Uber driver is driving roughly eight hours to 10 hours a day, uh, you know, that's the main job, then that car is probably picking up 75, maybe 80, maybe 100,000 miles a year. So if you look at that in that lens, yeah, a million mile battery, you definitely need it if that's what you're going to be doing uh, with your vehicle. Also, if you're not doing that full time, you know, you would only do it if you think your battery is going to last that long. Uh, you know, if your battery is only going to last, let's say, you know, 300,000 miles, you might think twice about using your vehicle, using your precious battery to do that uh, while, you know, it degrades your battery. But if you get a million mile battery that does not degrade, you would really consider, say, you know, renting out your car, uh, being a robo taxi, you would make money off of that and you wouldn't really lose anything because that battery is lasting up to a million miles, more than you ever need. So that's the first reason. The second reason is vehicle to grid, V2G. And that is the biggest reason, that is the biggest secret uh, that I think Tesla is going to report on their battery investor day. So what is vehicle to grid? So basically look at this, Va basically it's really simple. Instead of you plugging in your car and taking power from the grid to charge your battery, you can also take the power from your battery to feed into the grid. So it's bi-directional. You could power the grid uh, when you don't need a charge and you could obviously charge your battery when you need a charge. Uh, so Tesla currently has, you know, solar, solar panels and they also sell the power wall. Basically you could store all your solar energy, you know, when you're not using it, uh, you're at work, your, your house is getting charged. The sun is powering your house and powering or filling up your power wall, filling up these battery packs. And then when you get home at night, you use the, the battery that has all the charge that was collected from the day. Uh, and if the power goes out, if you have enough power walls, you could power your house uh, with the power wall plus the solar for, depending on how big your system, for a few weeks, probably a few months, depending on how big your system is. Uh, so it is a solution that uh, if you ever lose power, if you have blackouts or whatever, you could always self-sustain your home because it will have battery power and solar power. So exactly how much does a single power wall cost? So a power wall costs roughly $6,500 uh, after hardware and installation is close to $8,000. Uh, and actually it's probably a little bit more than that. I heard it quotes up to probably $9,000 to maybe $10,000 uh, when everything's said and done, you know, everything uh, installed and uh, regulations and all that kind of stuff, taxes and fees. Uh, so you're looking at probably close to nine to ten thousand dollars for a single power wall. So how much capacity does a power wall have? A single power wall has roughly 13.5 kilowatts of energy. So now let's compare that to a Tesla Model 3, just a standard range. You have 50 kilowatts of energy, 50 kilowatt battery pack in a Tesla Model 3. So you have roughly four to five times the amount of battery, amount of juice that can be held in a Tesla Model 3 standard range battery pack than you would a power wall. So to put it another way, uh, it would take roughly four, maybe five power walls to equal one single battery pack in your Tesla Model 3. And at roughly $10,000 per power wall, uh, that's roughly 40 to $50,000 for four to five batteries that would be equivalent to the battery in your Tesla Model 3. So you see where it's kind of adding up where it's more cost effective if you were just to buy a Tesla Model 3 for roughly forty to fifty thousand dollars, than to buy forty four or five power walls to power your house. So now, if you could use your Tesla Model Three to power your house, then you wouldn't need these power walls, and it'll be more cost efficient uh, because you could also drive your Tesla Model Three. You could also do a lot of other things with your Tesla Model Three versus the power wall. You could only power your house with it. So this, I think, is the big secret, the big news: vehicle to grid, so you can charge your house. And if you don't need the energy, if you don't need that 50 kilowatts of energy in your Model 3, you could also feed the grid and get paid for it. And so this is where auto bidder, this is where auto bidder software comes in. So exactly what is auto bidder? So here auto bidder provides independent power producers, utility and capital partners, the ability to autonomously monetize, mo autonomously monetize battery assets. Auto bidder is a real time trading and control platform that provides value-based assets management and portfolio optimization, enabling owners and operators to configure operational strategies that maximize revenue according to their business objective and risk performance. AutoBidder is successfully operating at Hornsdale Power Reserve in South Australia, and through market bidding has added, comp added competition to drive down energy prices. So AutoBidder is a software that automatically uh, be able to take energy from your Tesla Model 3, obviously with your approval, take energy from it, feed it into a grid, 
and then supply that energy to some other city, some other town that needs that energy. Imagine the software would also be able to be smart enough to say, uh, by seven o'clock in the morning, this person probably needs his car. And so you could probably set parameters. You could probably say, you know, by seven o'clock in the morning, I need at least 80% uh, charge in my battery. So the software will be automatically sending your power to somewhere else for that you will get paid for that. And then by the time seven o'clock rolls around, it will be recharging your battery. So you have at least 80% charge or whatever you designate uh, and you'll be ready to go for the rest of your day. And so basically you're making money while you sleep because you're selling your energy that you have in your battery. And of course you could have energy that you stored in your battery. You could be charging your battery when the energy prices are low and then selling it when the energy prices are high. And that's what auto builder bidder does. It automatically is able to send your energy somewhere else and probably sell it at a higher rate than what you use to charge your, your, your battery with. So just think about it. Maybe at night your power rates are low and you, it took you maybe $2 to charge your battery 100%. But then there's a spike in some other city. That energy is sent to that city. Somebody else uses it. They pay, let's say, $4 for all that energy. So basically you just made that difference. You made up that difference and that you get paid for. The auto bidder is already being used in South Australia. It is the software that it runs uh, the whole battery system that they installed back in 2016 and 2017. Uh, so this software is already uh, proven itself. Uh, and so this is the next level. And so what it is, is again, vehicle to grid, but also if you think about it, it's essentially virtual power plants. So there's roughly a million Teslas out there. Uh, imagine if every single vehicle was upgraded to a new battery and all future Teslas sold will have new batteries that are able to do this. So essentially every single Tesla will be a little mini power plant. You have energy in it that is valuable. And then when you plug in, auto builder software is able to monetize your energy and make you money while basically your, your car is plugged in and sitting there. So guys, I think that is the biggest news, the biggest secret about Battery Investor Day. Uh, basically making money from your vehicle, making money from the energy uh, that your vehicle has, you know, selling it uh, to the grid, selling it back to the grid. But uh, obviously they're also gonna talk about uh, how they're gonna ramp up battery, to battery productions, how they're gonna cost, co cut costs uh, using a different battery technology, uh, different chemistry. So that is also gonna be in there. But the main focus I think is going to be this V to G technology. So guys, let me know what you think. Have you heard of this news already? Check out my other videos. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.